in spite of the hazards of the mountain and the superstitions of the local people, history is full of men who have climbed Mount Ararat and seen the ark. Accounts from 700 years before the birth of Christ relate to the experience of pilgrims climbing Ararat to scrape tar off the sacred vessel from which to fashion good luck omens. The mountain often proved too hazardous for these ancient pilgrimages. Men seeking the ark began to meet with grave misfortunes, some cataclysmic, so the pilgrimages ended. Berossus, the Babylonian high priest from the temple of Bel Marduk, states that in his time around 300 BC, Remains of the ark could still be seen, and some get pitch from the ship by scraping it off and use it for amulets. Hieronymus, Egyptian historian who authored the ancient history of Phoenicia about 30 BC, mentions the ark. Also about 30 BC, Nicholas of Damascus, the biographer of Herod the Great, tells of the ark landing near the summit and that relics of timber were still there. In 380 AD, Epiphanes, bishop of Salamis, visited the land of the Kurds and stated that he was shown wood from Noah's Ark. In the snow of Mount Ararat, wrote Armenian historian and world traveler Haifan, one can see a black spot that is Noah's Ark, which he himself saw in 1254. Even Marco Polo, the renowned world traveler, wrote about Noah's Ark's presence on Mount Ararat in 1269 A.D.